Hello everyone, it's, uh, it's the afternoon here, so, uh, so let's get things off to a great start. So, this is data. There are actually four red dots on the screen here, but only one green dot. And I will give anybody in this audience a thousand dollars if they can find the green dot in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Anybody? No. <laughs> Absolutely. Let me come over to the side. This is data, and this is very important. These are insights that could be different, remarkable for your firm. How much is it worth to a wealth manager? Is it 100 million in AUM that you're able to glean from providing unique insights? Is it a billion dollars if you're a private bank and you're that firm that has the edge over your competition? Or is it a trillion dollars as wealth transfers from different segments of the market? Do you have that insight? Do you have that edge? As human beings, we're faced with this problem every day trying to discern what's actually happening in the world. How is it actually relevant for our clients and how do we provide personalized advice for them? The reason for this is we're going beyond peak human capacity today. The notion of information overload is quaint. In fact, there's just too much data. Most of the data in the world is created in the past two years alone. And and this is a big problem that everybody's facing. In fact, $16 trillion is at stake here in wealth management and asset management. And there is intense competition between these wealth managers. It's causing massive fee compression. In fact, since 2016, wealth managers have suffered an 8% drop in fees. And at the same time, new generations are moving wealth from the baby boomers transferring into the millennials. There's a demand for new digital experiences. In fact, it's something we've been all talking about a lot today. It's a new generation. It's a generation of self-made millionaires who have new demands. New demands of their asset managers, of their banks. What they are looking for is something that is personalized, differentiated, digital. Something that's actually revolutionary. I'm Nathan Stevenson. I'm the founder and CEO of Forwarding. We're a competitive finance startup based out of New York and London. We're a team of multidisciplinary experts uh, from private banking, from wealth management, asset management. And we combine with computer scientists from NYU and Columbia. We all have tier one banking experience. And what we do is two things. We personalize investment insights and provide expert level conversation for institutional finance. We deliver this to wealth managers and private banks on a B2B basis and also directly to end clients. We also accelerate distribution in asset management using AI to the advantage of the internal distributor and the external. What we do is provide an intelligence layer for financial data. We pull together news, research and other data from Thomson Reuters, Morningstar and other providers. We run it through our natural language processing and NLU pipeline. We've custom designed specific neural networks to solve these unique problems in institutional finance, which is high dimensional data, thousands of classes, different levels and a high degree of ambiguity. What's different about us or the competition? It's accuracy. It's accuracy in, in institutional finance. Together we bring this data in a graph database, which enables us to personalize insights down to the client level and scale this out by APIs and applications. So let's take a look at the human story here. Meet Sue. She's a wealth manager with offices in Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Singapore. She has high performing clients that want personalized service. They want this white glove personalized experience both digitally and in person. But she is faced with this picture on a daily basis. She has to try and keep up to date with the news, read all those CIO's views and the research that's coming out. She pours through the CRM system to understand the relationship and marries her insights there along with the client's investments. She goes through the rack of products available to her from her bank and personalizes this for the client's interests. 
This takes her two to three hours if she's very good, but typically it can take actually a lot longer than that. What she employs is her human intuition, her reasoning. She has a whole team that prepares these meeting notes for her. She has her own process and uses her brain. This is why she gets paid so much money. But it's just not really that scalable. In fact, Sue does a fantastic job for a top 10 clients and even for a top 25. But the problem is that she has 250 clients. Where is she going to find the time that day to do all this type of work? This is what wealth managers today face on a daily basis. Next comes forward lane. Forward lane applies our aggregation engine. It synthesizes all of that data and marries it together. It's able to create a unique personalized story using the deep learning and the insights that have been aggregated and delivers this into a workstation that Sue uses. She gives it to a team. And by the way, she can actually give it directly to her end clients too through the digital portal. The reasoning is something that's different to other AI companies. It's very, very important because it's one thing to get a piece of news that's related to a ticket. It's a completely different story to have that specifically tailored, tailored to the client with an explanation of why they're seeing it. We deliver this through two APIs. The first is called Smart Stories. It's about creating personalized insights using news, research, and other data. It's very lightweight, easy to deploy. It can be plugged into existing banking systems or delivered via the cloud. It's very, very powerful and leverages that whole synthesis engine. It gives you some of these human capabilities, the human acceleration capabilities that we're all looking for to differentiate the personalized digital experience. And expert conversation, we call it smart Q&A. It's an, again, an API a conversational framework. The thing that is so different about this conversational framework is that it's contextual. It understands all the terminology in institutional finance. It also brings real-time answers to your clients around specific personalized information. It's one of the very few conversational interfaces that actually gives you a different answer for each client. Why? Because it's tapping into their brain and enabling you to interact with it in a sophisticated way. The benefits to this are huge, of course, because you're so much more responsive. You can get back to those clients in an instant. Why? Because all those meeting notes are done for you by the APIs. You can sell more product because alongside those recommendations around content, we can actually recommend products that could be a good fit for you. And coverage. Coverage is the biggest thing. This gives Sue scale. It scales her human intelligence, all at a 40% lower cost of servicing. And you know what? The market has woken up to this. We have a very big client pipeline with 12 active projects in the US, in Europe, and in Asia. We've had some pretty good industry recognition from uh, some notable places. And we have some fantastic strategic partners. Thomson Reuters is an investor. We work closely together with IBM and the top consulting companies to deploy this cutting edge augmented intelligence into enterprise spaces. So I'd like to leave you with a final thought. Forward Lane helps you find the green dot. And not just today, but every day and every single green dot. And we do this through augmenting human intelligence, personalizing insights, and helping you deliver a rich, dynamic client experience. I'm Nathan Stevenson. We are Forward Lane. And thanks very much for having us. Thank you to NextChange and to Duarte too. Thank you.